My name is Jerry Power. I work for the Joint Improvement Team, which is uh, co-sponsored by Scottish Government and the Convention of Scottish Local Authorities. The Joint Improvement Team is mainly focused on supporting the integration between health and uh, social work within Scotland. More recently, uh, that includes working across the independent sector and with the, the third sector in taking forward the Reshaping Care for Older People agenda. I think if you look across Scottish um, government policy in housing and renewing public services as well as, as older people, uh, policies such as self-directed support etc, you can see a golden thread right through that, um, that policy and legislation where co-production is going to play a very vital part in um, delivering these. There has been an investment, if I give an example of reshaping care for older people, of a, a pot of £300 million to, um, to change the, the landscape of how we provide care for older people. There are three work streams, one of which is co-production and community capacity. Uh, and so I think the Scottish Government's putting its money where its, its mouth is in terms of encouraging um, health and social care agencies in particular to change the way they actually provide services and incorporate co-production is an essential strategic element in that. I think uh, co-production is a it's not, it's not a new concept, but it's a new way of doing things within the statutory services. Um, we're used to actually providing care for and to people rather than uh, providing care with people. And I think it's trying to get the, uh, the mindset change, the shift in the, the way we do things to incorporate co-production as a, uh, a routine part of how we actually plan services. So it's shifting that mindset, I think, um, uh, particularly I think at the strategic apex of organisations which is the most difficult to persuade um, organisations that this is something they should be doing. There are uh, some excellent examples and I may say that, that um, many of these are available on the Governance International website um, but certainly Food Train is, is an excellent example um, which is not simply about um, the voluntary delivery of food a la ASDA or um, Tesco but is more of um, um, a service which goes beyond that. It's about how you address social isolation, it's about how you address nutritional issues, it's about how you build community and um, I think that's, that's the trick. It's not about just seeing a service at face value uh, in, in co-production, it's about what the, the, the social impact is and how you actually build and cohese that, that, um, that community connectiveness which actually supports more people at home. So Food Train is an excellent example, so is the Family Nurse Partnership where nurses work in co-production with uh, young mothers um, as partners in, in how they actually um, deliver uh, childcare etc. Those are just two examples but there are many others, time banks, befriending um, uh, services um, and other third sector voluntary organisation run um, uh, initiatives which actually are developing um, a co-productive uh, approach between um, the statutory sector, third sector and individuals and their families. I think there's an opportunity here. Um, Co-production can help organisations stretch their limited resources and at the same time deliver better outcomes for people, but it's got to be adopted as part of their strategic thinking.